What's up, everyone? Uh, Adam Johnson here of Basketball Pantheon. Ordered, uh, I guess, uh, ordered, uh, downloaded the free app, uh, the Prelude. Gonna get NBA 2K17. Already got an order for the uh, early tip-off edition. Gonna pick that up next week. Um, but I played the Prelude uh, yesterday, and it was fun. I enjoyed it. I uh, didn't want to broadcast anything while I was playing it. Kind of want to go through it, write about it. Gonna get something up on the site. Um, and I, you know, post this to YouTube and probably get something up on that. But uh, I decided to create my guy. His name is Fly Williams, um, which is obviously, he's, you know, that's actually a real player. Uh, played kind of the New York City playgrounds and then went to Austin P and played a year for the Spirits of St. Louis. And I always like to create like a street baller. I never create myself. I don't do the face scanning app. I just That's just kind of weird to me because I have no shot of ever playing in the NBA, even though I played high school at a decently high level. There's no way I'd ever play in the NBA. So it just looks odd to have like, me in the league so I want to create guys that actually you know look like they could play in the league and Fly Williams could have um, and plus it's just cool created you know street baller so let me see if I can give you a little preview of what he actually looks like and then we'll get to a game uh, I already finished it but I'm assuming they'll let me play I decided to make him a 6-1 point guard Fly Williams is more of a shooting guard but I wanted to play point guard uh, and I did the playmaker archetype which is a little bit different um I'm not when I play my player I don't really want to just score 30 a game. I actually try to play real basketball. So, you know, use screens, find the open guy, try to get some assists. So, I thought playmaker was the right one for me. I don't really care if I score much. So, uh in the college games even I only probably scored about 9, you know, 9 points a game or so. So, uh granted those are pretty short games, but still. So, let's see. Let's just look at clothing. My gear, see what he looks like. So, that's generally what he looks like but let's uh let's get to a game and see see him in action uh old fly williams but let's see continue my career let's see if they let us do this i think they should um obviously for those of you who've already played you once you finish the college career you get to play a game for team usa it's kind of like a bonus little game um why they would choose uh here we go in a big pond I don't know why they're not letting me play it. That's odd. But yeah, I mean, you you finish the the, the college career and then move on to uh, what's about to be the draft. And I, I was predicted as a mid first round pick, and they kind of tease it out like, oh, you know, here, you know, with the whatever pick in the draft, uh, this team selects. And then you know, obviously, you don't get to see that. And, and then there's a video with. With Michael B. Jordan and Kobe Bryant, and they're kind of explaining, hey, you know, great careers ahead of you, like, see what you can do, and that type of thing. But uh, apparently, this is not going to let me play the Team USA. So, in the article I wrote, I promised that I would have a video with a little bit extra stuff of uh, uh, playing in this USA game with Free Coach K. But unfortunately, I'm not going to get to play it again. So, I'm not going to be able to put that in the video. It was fun. It was ridiculous that I was on this on this the US Olympic team. Um but I see you know why they did it and you know you get to play against Australia which is cool. Um I'm very curious to see what other national teams they have in the game. I really hope they have Spain. Spain's always fun to play with. Last year I kinda created a Spanish national team, put them on Real Madrid, um and played a couple games with them and it was really fun. Although I did have Marcus Sol on that, which you know he ended up not playing so uh, a little frustrating but but no, it's. I hope they have more than just two or three national teams. It'd be cool if they had eight. You know, we could actually play kind of a little tournament with them. That'd be fun. I always like when they add teams to the game. Um, unfortunately, it sounds like there are going to be no new historic teams, which is a real bummer. But you know, that's life. So uh, I'm not going to go on too much longer. Obviously, you know, this isn't too exciting here. You guys get to watch me mess around in the menu rather than actually play a game. So. Uh, we'll just use this as, a, as another teaser and a promise of a lot more to come uh, videos NBA 2K17 on the Basketball Pantheon Twitch account, which will then be posted to basketballpantheon.com, which is our website. Uh, very excited for kind of some of the stuff we've got going. Um, I guess I can mess around in the store a little bit before we uh, before we go, but but yeah, it's it's uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited about the game. I'm excited to do more videos like this. Uh, I've always watched these videos and thought, you know, I could do I could do these pretty well, and I think it'd be fun. I always have creative ideas and different rosters we can mess with, and uh, we always do different tournaments. My brother and I kind of throughout the year where we use all the teams that are on the game and kind of create a default roster tournament where um, every every team, every classic team, NBA team, Euro League team, and we build a bracket based on 
their their uh, the team's ratings on the default rosters, and then kind of go from there. So it's like a you know, big March Madness tournament. You know, last year there was 101 teams, so uh, it took 100 games to kind of finish it, and it was really fun. And but you know, I kind of just play it throughout the season, and once it's over, you know, it's over. But but pretty cool. Um, and so there'll be little things like that. We'll broadcast those games, and it, it creates like really interesting matchups. You know, you'll have like Barcelona playing against the '96 Bulls, and it's just it just looks cool. And uh, and so hopefully people enjoy that. But but this is one thing that a lot of people have made some noise about is the uh, the celebrations. I've seen a bunch of Instagram videos going around of these. There are some crazy ones. So um, those of you who are 2K heads and have already played this, you probably already flipped through these. But I'll just kind of give people a preview before we sign off. But uh, the Draymond hype, there's plenty of Draymond stuff, but Dudley three, both hands raised. Um, there are just some, yeah, some crazy, I and mean, look at the detail in this. Pretty incredible. You know, this is if you get an and one, obviously Lillard count it three point or here we go. Let's get the block out of bounds. The one arm upper flex Draymond hyped again, more Draymond, but uh, D'Angelo's bling. Oh yeah, because he gets a lot of big blocks out of bounds. Uh, <laughs> but no, pretty cool, pretty cool. So again, plenty more to come from us. This video, and then there'll be plenty more to come. Again, uh, signing off, Adam Johnson. Thanks, guys.